In this series, we are going to be starting from absolutely nothing and trying to acquire all the riches that Los Santos has to offer. Welcome to Broke to Ballin'. Hey there guys, welcome back to another episode of Broke to Ballin'. Last episode you saw me take on the Diamond Casino heist, which went... Uh, questionably well, I guess. But today we're going to be continuing our experimentation with the arcade business. More specifically, we're going to be one, buying a different arcade because I've changed my mind on where I want the location, and two, purchasing what I believe to be arguably the best purchase in GTA Online. Why does the camera always do this? So strap in, because we're going to be making a lot of money first, because I don't have enough money to afford these things, and then we're going to be testing out these interesting new acquisitions. Here we go. Uh, I just turned around to see my bike has fallen. That's uh, unfortunate. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get out of here. Yeah, good start. So as we all know, this is my lovely nightclub that I currently have. It is located in the western, or eastern side I should say, of Los Santos over here. However, most of my businesses are in this region. As you can see, my MC Clubhouse is here, my, um, not nightclub, my CEO warehouse is here, my nightclub is here, my apartment and my CEO office are all on this side of the map. So I want to move my night arcade. Why do I keep getting the businesses mixed up? I want to move my arcade over there. However, if we go ahead and take a look on the website, it costs a bit of money. Here we go, it is 2.345 million. In the top right, you can see I only have 1.14 million. However, when you get a new business, there's a possibility to trade in your old business to get some cash back. Now, I don't know if I have enough for this, but I doubt it. Exactly. So we're going to have to make some money first, especially because there's also another purchase I want to make today. And like I said before, I believe this to be the best purchase in the entire game. It is something I've been looking forward to buying for honestly, probably close to a few years now because I've never bought this item in GTA Online. If you haven't guessed already, it is the master control terminal for 1.74 million. This upgrade allows you to control your nightclub, your MC businesses, your CEO businesses, and your bunker all from your arcade. So that means if you have a bunker all the way up in the top of the map, you can just come to your big gaming PC here and do your sell missions, do your buy missions, do your other missions, and it basically makes the game a lot easier. But to do that, we first need to get the money for it. And I first want to also move my arcade anyway, so let's get to grinding. Now, I've made sure to AFK off camera so that all my businesses could fill up with stock. And if you don't know how to AFK in this game, uh, sometimes you can glitch it out and it just won't kick you out of a lobby. I don't know what the exact parameters are for it, but you can do that. Or if you go to your LS car meet and just sit in the area like right before you're leaving the track. You know, I'll just go show you so it's a bit easier. So if you come over to the LS car meet, all you need to do is go ahead and get in one of these vehicles. I can't see which button to press because the thing is up there in the top left and I don't know my buttons very well, apparently. Uh, there we go. You need to enter alone. You can't enter with other players, but it doesn't make as much sense to so just enter alone with any of these three vehicles. There's also an HSW vehicle there for next gen people, but it's not really important for this. And all you need to do is once you're in and do a nice little Yui, uh, U-turn for you non-Australians, and just sit here. Don't press anything, and you can AFK here for as long as you want. You will get some reputation in the car meet, which gives you some discounts and items, and you also get your nightclub, your bunker, your other things to stock up. I don't believe this has been patched yet, so if it has, or if it's been patched in the future, put it down in the comments, but for now, I believe this still works. So this is what I've been doing off camera to make sure those get stocked up. Um, but yeah, let's actually get into making the money now. So I've come over to my nightclub, and as you can see in the bottom right, my popularity is at zero. I know many of you have been bullying me in the comments for saying, or just saying that my popularity is zero and nobody likes me. Don't worry, I'm aware of it. But if you weren't aware, this week in GTA Online, or at least the week I'm recording the video, it's double nightclub something. Um, you can get double popularity for doing popularity missions, and I believe you also get double money for the mission and nightclubs are discounted. There might be more, but that's what I know off the top of my head. So while we're at it, we might as well go ahead and get the popularity back to 100%. So while we're making money, we can have the nightclub build some passive income in the background. I also haven't shown you any popularity missions in this series yet. And while they're not that interesting, I guess I might as well put 
them in a video once. So if we go over to nightclub management, we can see here promotes club. If we do this, our boy Tony will give us a mission and we'll hopefully get some nightclub popularity if the mission goes well. So we have to go to LSIA. I believe this is going to be the blimp mission, if I'm not mistaken, which is where we fly a giant blimp and blast terrible music to the people down below. It's a weird strategy, but it works for some reason. There it is. A lovely little blimp. I don't know if I was meant to uh, destroy that, but I have. And if we go to the minimap, we can see there are three promotional areas. We start off with one over the pier, and I believe the others will just pop up once we're finished with that one. And we basically just go over there and, and play music. I know I usually complain about Rockstar missions for being really boring and slow, but this is taking to a new level. <laughs> God damn. All right, but here we go. We're nearly there. So we just want to get into this yellow circle and stay in here while we're blasting some music so that the people down below will be like, oh yes, this is a gr great tasteful uh, music there playing i want to go to the the nightclub where i'll get drugged it's 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 a wonderful strategy and there we go they've all been brainwashed and we'll come to our club to get uh drunk naked and something else what do you do at clubs? I don't know. I've never been outside. There is one thing I have to say though. It is very foggy and rainy and stormy out in the game. Can they even see the blimp at this point? I feel like this is a really bad day to be promoting. I, I won't question it. I'm just the, the grunt worker, even though I own the entire business. Come to my club and get clubbed over the head with a bottle from a drunk man in his 50s with a wife and kids that hate his guts. I feel like it's an accurate description. Even though this is double money at the moment, I can't imagine we're going to be making much from this mission. If I had to place my best best guess, I maybe get like 30 or 40k. Not that I'm doing that for the money anyways, it's for the passive income, but you know, I, I wouldn't mind a bit of dough. We do need a lot. We have 1.1 mil and I'm aiming to get like three today. I'm starting to regret my decision a little bit, but oh well, that happens most episodes. Come on, get low enough. And here we go. What? Did we get 2k? <laughs> Are you kidding me? 2k! Tony, what are you paying me for, man? What am I paying you for? 2k! Well, good news, we actually have half popularity already, so we just need to do one more mission and we should get max popularity, which if you didn't know, when you have max popularity, every in-game day in GTA, which is roughly 48 minutes, you will get $50,000 in that little safe behind me, so it's very nice to have. That's, that's why I'm doing this, I'm not just torturing myself for no reason, although I'm not opposed to doing that. So we do have to wait five minutes. There is another way to promote your club though, which is by booking a DJ, although I don't know if I really want to waste 100k on one of these people. Oh well. Ah, uh, great. We gotta go to our rave. Alright, question. Why is there a rave happening here? Is this not like a military helicopter area? This seems like a very strange location. Oh no, I'm just getting the cargo bob. Never mind. I thought there was just a rave happening on the helipad, which to be fair would be pretty lit, but nope. We are going all the way there. I'm just confused at this game. Why would I not just go to the rave? Why do I need a cargo bob exactly? I guess we'll see. Dave, could you just shut up? Dave, I've heard too much of your bullshit these past few months. I don't I don't need any more. Oh, the police got him. That's Yeah, that explains this. No, wrong car, wrong. Can you can you get the police car, please? Car cop, thank you. I'm very bad at flying these things. Just kill him. I do it all the time. I'm very tempted to drop them. I know that will be a really bad idea and a waste of money, but I'm really really tempted to do it. Can't I just drop it at the nightclub now? It's like right there, man. Do I have uh Dave, the only thing you're talented at is talking out of your ass. Oh, why is the police- why is the cop in the back? What? Forgive me. Damn, Madonna! Bro, can I hire her? I know I literally am right now, but I mean like to be my assistant or something. Alrighty, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I, I still hate that there's just no sound because I have music turned off in the game. It makes all these cutscenes really awkward. I can't lie. Now let's see if that has given us max popularity. It has. Fantastic. We also have a little mission in here by Marcel to throw someone out, but uh, I like a bit of chaos. Let's just leave them for now. So now after doing that, we can actually start making some proper dough. Now my nightclub stock is a near full. I don't think it's at 100%, but it's close enough. So we have 16 out of 20 sporting goods, 8 out of 10 cargo and shipments, and 2 out of 10 for South American imports, which will get us about 214k, which is definitely helpful. So let's go ahead and do it. Now with the nightclub being on discount this week, also the upgrades within the nightclub are on discount as well, such as the security upgrade, the staff upgrade, and most importantly, the underground storage, which is how you get to more storage. Of course, it's how you get more storage, Dan, that's in the name. But basically, when you saw me reading out those 
things like 16 out of 20, 8 out of 10. When you buy more storage, those go up. There's a maximum of, I think, five different upgrades. And if you get all of them, it basically means you can sell more at once. Now, while I would love to buy them, it's going to heavily depend on how much money I'm able to make this episode. So we're going to have to see. The arcade is the main priority. However, if I have some left over, I'm definitely going to go for some of those upgrades because it will allow me to pretty much AFK for longer before I can sell the nightclub stock, which means I can play the game less, which I know sounds sounds bad considering I'm a GTA YouTuber and I don't want to play the game, but uh, don't question me. The game's stale right now. If you don't agree, I don't know what to tell you. All I'm saying is we need a new heist. Like Kaya Perico came out, what, like two years ago now? We need a new one. Bring us Michael back, Rockstar. Give me like a really big like Michael heist where we rob the, I don't know, the strip club or something. That'd be pretty cool. What do you think is a good idea for a heist? Put down in the comments below what ideas for heists you guys have, because we've obviously done the Diamond Casino. We've done a uh, private island. We've done a bank. We've done the... We've done like the Doomsday Heist, which is against like the government, I think, or something. So a lot of things have already been done. But if you have any good ideas for possible future heists, put it down in the comments. I'd be really interested to see what your thoughts are, because there's definitely ideas still out there, but Rockstar don't seem to have any clue. So here we are at the rendezvous point, And now we got to use a flare gun to signal the helicopter. Can we use it from inside? Uh, yeah, we can. Lovely. And now we follow the helicopter. All right. I love, I love missions where I follow things. Huh. God, I hope we're at the point soon. We've gone all the way across the map so far. They're really taking us on a, a hike. Oh, finally. God, I felt like a kid in the back of a car on a road trip. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? God damn. I started here. Like, well, somewhere around here. I don't know. At least we didn't have to deal with any enemies. I'll take that. Hoping I'm not jinxing it right now because that would definitely happen to me. No, we seem to be all right. Just a long, annoying, slow mission. Typical of Rockstar. Very nice. But at least we got the money. At least we got the money. That's that's good. 192k because of course Tony takes some, the thieving bastard. But now we can move on to our next mission, which is going to be um I don't know what to do. How do I make decisions? I guess I'm close to my snow factory. So let's go do that. And yes, if you were wondering, most of this episode is going to be me selling product. So if you're still interested in that, I, I commend you. You're, you're a very good viewer. I appreciate you a lot and, and love you. But um, if you don't, I, I won't judge you. <laughs> but then again, you guys are watching a GTA Rags to Riches Broke to Ballin series where the goal is to make money. So if you're not going to watch me make money, then uh, I saw new. A new heist would help there, wouldn't it? Actually, you know, I'm saying a new heist would help when I haven't even done most of the heists. Like I've never completed Doomsday. I've never completed like Series A funding. I've never completed. I don't even think I've completed Prison Break if I'm being completely honest with you. Because when they came out back in the day, I played with my friends and we were just really bad and never managed to actually beat one of them. So I don't think I've actually done any of those. I've done Cairo. I've done Diamond Casino. I don't think I've done the others. So I should probably do that in a video soon, shouldn't I? Yeah. Well, if you want to see me do the other heists, like the Series A funding, like the Prison Break, like the other ones I can't remember the names of, make sure to subscribe that tells me that you're interested in the series and want me to keep going. Now, we should probably resupply before we start. And now we can sell our stock for 157k and we might have multiple sale vehicles, which I'm not looking forward to. Okay, we got the helicopter job again and we only have one sale vehicle. I'm fine with that. Very nice. I feel like I've gotten this helicopter job almost every single time though, which I think is probably the best one. Maybe a plane one would be better, but I'm just happy I'm not getting any boat missions because the boat missions suck. I've gotten them on a different account and they make me want to rip out my eyes through ears and those specifically those body parts well here we go that plane just spawned out of nowhere honestly the way this episode's going i might have the most amount of cutout time ever on a video like i've been recording for just over half an hour and i guarantee I have about three minutes of footage right now because i'm just selling stuff uh the life of a gta youtuber eh? cutting out 90 percent of the content because it's just me flying from a to b i really love it of course when we get episodes like the heists it's really good because it's just all content but when you get one of these ones oh it did it, it's it's good fun i love seeing my editing program and i because when you're editing on youtube on youtube what am i talking about when you're editing in any editing program you can see when you're speaking like the sound i don't know how to explain this i'm doing a really bad job but you can basically see when you're speaking and you get some episodes where it's just like the whole entire clip is full of me talking and then ones like this is going to be like giant gaps like massive gaps it's going to be all it's going to be like a british person's teeth and i'll just look at that and go ha huh, that's a that's a lot of a lot of wasted time Oh well, although it is pretty satisfying cutting out like a 20 minute period from a video because nothing happens. That does give me the good feeling. It's like it's like busting the, the fattest nut. Why do I speak? I don't know. Maybe I should talk less. Maybe I should just have a video where I just don't speak at all and then just cut it all out and then I just don't upload. That'd be cool. <laughs> Here we go. Santa's making his final delivery for the night. There you go. 157k and a nice little crash. Now we can move on to the next delivery and I'm going to go ahead and go for the acid lab because... 
it's good fun. And damn, that is a lot of supplies, nearly completely full. But, uh, don't worry about it. Let's go ahead and sell it. Get me on my bike, baby. Let's go. And we have the one where we throw things, I'm guessing. Yeah, let's go. So guys, in the amount of time I've spent delivering things today, which is quite a lot, I've had to think to myself, and I thought, Dan, let's not be stupid and not buy a new arcade today. If I think about it, it is literally, oh, that is the wrong way, you idiot. It is literally just a waste of money at this point. If I'm spending 2.1 million on another arcade when it literally takes me an extra 20 seconds to get to my current one and I can literally spawn at it, it is a bit of a dumb decision now that I think it through. I do want to actually buy the best versions of every single business in this series later on. Like for example, at the moment, my snow factory is up in Sandy Shores. There is a better location for the snow factory in Los Santos that I want to buy further on in the series. However, I think those upgrades are more just convenience rather than necessary so they're going to be things i buy much later on such as buying a better arcade location i think right now the priority should be getting that master control terminal and then possibly upgrading my nightclub storage a bit so that's what i'm going to do for the episode now instead of making a really stupid decision that i'm going to hate myself for so yeah just an update on that but that means we are only about 400k away from being able to afford the master control terminal we're obviously going to get 200k from this and then we have some time trials to do a and a bunker cell mission, but don't worry about that. Damn, they're really making us go far away for this first one, aren't they? God damn, dude. I'm used to doing this in the city. Like I'm literally driving to the other side of the map. Or well, nearly. And here we are finally at the first location. Or well, nearly. All right, first location. That took ages, but here we go. Now, will I miss the first throw? No, hell yes. I finally gotten better at uh, getting it in the hole uh, and acquired skill, if I do say so myself. I want to try and not miss a single one this whole entire time. Well, on the record so far, I don't think I've had a single one where I've not missed them all. Okay, what was that? So I'm going to try my best to be accurate. I know you get nothing for it. I just want to impress you guys because nothing I do usually does. Case in point. Alrighty, number three. It's not better. Uh, let's can't speak. Oh, God, that was close. Bro, why are they making me go so far? I'm, I'm not gonna have enough time for this. If they make me go all the way back into Los Santos, I, I, I'm gonna, um, I don't know. I was gonna say I was gonna throw a hissy fit, but I don't know what that would achieve. Like, I know three-year-olds do it all the time, but I'm at least six years old, so I don't know how much it would help. I should be more mature than that. My videos would tell you otherwise, but don't listen to them. Oh, God damn it. How am I not dead? Okay, number four. God damn it. All right, if I miss this, I like kissing hot steamy men. Okay, I'm actually trying now. <laughs> God, no! What? All right, I guess it's true. Oh no. I have fun here in the Lankman Dan channel. These guys are gonna try and kill me. Not if I get them first. Okay, I think he's dead. Fuck. Double fuck. Ooh, the gun van's here. Hold up. I know the gun van has the Widowmaker in it. Can I just please crash through one of these fences for once? Dude, stop embarrassing me in front of the viewers, game. Come on, man. But yes, I heard the Widow... The, the gun van... Where is it? Has the Widowmaker at the moment. I don't know how much it is, so I don't know if it's going to be worth buying considering I'm trying to save up for something. However, 500k. Uh, I'll get it later. It's fine. The drugs are more important right now. Last one. I missed. I missed again. I missed again. And I, I missed. I'm really bad at this, aren't I? How, mu how much am I, like, wasting? How many, like, vats of acid? I know that's not the right term, but am I throwing away by doing this? Surely my boss would be mad at me. Oh, wait, I'm the boss. Never mind then. Wee! All right, so we currently have 1.6 mil, and like I said, we do have the time trials for this week. We also have these things here, which is a stash house and G's cash, which is part of the Drug Wars update that has had its, like, second addition to it, I guess, which are these free roam events where you can sell and also get money. I won't be looking at them in this episode, but probably in the next one, I'll take a deeper dive into them. For now, let's 
Time, time trial time. Yep. Okay. I can't speak anymore. This is why I give up on YouTube and life. All right. So for doing this time trial, I have two main options. Why am I going to the internet? I have two main options. That is either using my HSW Hakuchu Drag, which is my baby, my little first love. Um, or I could use my RE70. I forgot the name of the car. What is it called? Oh, the Entity MT. I got that completely wrong. Or I could use that. It is destroyed though. You know, I want more pain. Let's do it. So while the Hakuchu Drag is definitely going to be easier to win this time trial with i thought of going with something a bit different for once since we usually see the same thing on this channel and this is more likely to lead to more rage if i mess up which i know you guys enjoy so let's see where we have to go uh we should be able to make that let's just respawn first okay three two one go why are you turning you wankstein can't believe he's actually trying to go to where he wants to like what a dick i don't know if this is even a good way to go but we're, we're committed now Oh god, come on. 20 seconds, we should have this. First time? Am I really gonna get this first time? That never happens on this channel. Come on, baby. Let's go. Slow down, slow down. There we go. Lovely stuff. How you guys doing? All right, so that should be enough to actually buy me the control terminal already. However, I'm going to go ahead and do the other time trial just to get myself a little bit more money because I'm a money hungry snake. All right, here we are. The Galileo Park time trial. I do know this one and I usually do it on a bike. So I guess we'll see how this goes. I think I'm just going to go for it now. Not even restart. I'm that confident that I will... Never mind. You know, I'll just go down the road this time. I don't I don't trust myself. Now, while I do think this is possible in the car, especially since it's an HSW vehicle, I do usually use a bike and jump over the mountains for this one. So I guess we'll see how it goes. Oh god. Ah. Uh, yeah, kind of worked actually. We're actually on pretty good pace here. As long as we don't mess up. Why did I speak? We should still be able to make it. I hope. Oh god, 10 seconds. Come on! Come on! Oh my fa- we, we literally missed it by 200 milliseconds. Ah! That is, that is the wrong helmet. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> now that we have enough money to buy the master control- <laughs> Ah! Now that we have enough money to buy the master, holy I oh guys, there's a reason why I stopped uploading because I don't know how to speak the languages of the world. The master control terminal. <laughs> That's it. Now that we have enough money for it, we can go ahead and buy it. And I am extremely excited for this purchase because I've never owned it before. And it's going to absolutely just level up the efficiency on this account to 100 million thousand. So we only have 175k left, which is terrifying because I am now poor again. But that is how this system, system, that, that's how this series goes, guys. I, the speech therapy lessons genuinely could not come sooner. But here it is in the master control terminal. Almost as cool as my actual setup, except there's no chair for some reason. That's a bit of a weird one. Oh well. But the reason why I didn't actually go ahead and do the bunker cell mission is because I wanted to save it so I could show you on here. So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, hello? Is it glitched? Why am I not allowed to use it? Hold up, let me go out and in again. Oh, never mind. It's here. Wait, what is this then? I, wait, I'm I'm confused. Whatever. So I'm just an idiot. Here's the master control terminal and we actually have a chair. Lovely. It looks way better than my current one because my ass is sore all the time. But we can sit down and take a look at our lovely new setup. So what I love about this is we finally have access to all of our major businesses at once at least. We have the nightclub, the gun running supplies, which is the bunker, and the snow factory. We also have special cargo, air freight cargo, vehicle cargo, which I haven't bought yet, and then all the other MC businesses. We also have the little slimy... Lester chatting on our ear, but that's pretty standard for this game. So here you can see we can manage stock and supplies or just manage in general. So for the special cargo, we can click manage. We have to be in a CEO to manage it. Still, you have to switch between those, so I won't question it. Um, I'm not going to switch because I'm too lazy. But we can look at the air freight cargo at least. We can lock into here. We can source from here. We can sell from here. It's all lovely jubbly. The nightclub, as we saw earlier this episode, we can take a look at the entire management page. We can go ahead and do promotion missions. We can sell. We can upgrade we can do all the good stuff but the one i'm gonna go ahead and do at the moment is the gun running supplies now this takes us to our bunker where we can resupply first of all for 75k and then we can go ahead and sell our stock to los santos and we're in los santos so what does that mean well that means we have an easy mission never mind we still have to go to the bunker 
Why did I think? Never mind. Okay, so <laughs> we have to first get to the bunker and then why? Okay, I'm now questioning my decision. It's still good, don't get me wrong, but for some reason I just thought the cell vehicle would be here. Maybe for the other businesses it is, but for the bunker they need it, whatever. As you guys know, I'm, it's not like I'm an expert at this game. In fact, I'm kind of an idiot half the time, which is why I get roasted in the comments after most of my episodes. Uh, it's, it's still a worthy purchase, I think. I, I think. Oh, well, here we are. We have the dune buggy, which is uh, an all right delivery vehicle. Probably going to get shot a lot, but it is what it is. So realistically, with the master control terminal, the major benefit to it is that you can manage your supplies when you don't actually have to go to your business. So obviously, with doing something like the nightclub, you want to maybe upgrade. You maybe want to do club promotions. You can do it from there. Or with the MC businesses that I will not name for demonetization reasons, you can stock up there rather than having to go to the location in particular. I'm trying to justify this purchase now. I feel like I've made a mistake. <laughs> oh well. It still is a very cool upgrade, I can't lie. I think I think for things like this uh, I think for things like CEO crates and vehicle cargo for the CEO businesses, it is very, very, very good because you don't always have to go back to your CEO office. For things like the bunker, it's maybe less useful, but overall, it's still a good purchase. Um, I'm not in denial. And there are the enemies. I'm sure they're going to be fun. Okay, they just keep teleporting now. I feel that this is unfair. I know I do it sometimes, but I'm the main character. I should be allowed to. Number four, and now number five is over in the city. Okay, see ya, boys. I'm going to go in the water, aren't I? I somehow survived. Now I don't know how to get out. Huh. Huh. Well, I'm in a bit of a pickle, aren't I? Guys, what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? Oh, God, I think it's over. Come on. Yes. Yes. Go, Doom Buggy. Ah, shit. Oh, come on. I, I know I'm going nowhere. Trust me, I'm very well aware of that fact. I think my dude's having a bit of an epileptic shock right now. Well, mission failed, I guess. Is he gonna shoot me or like, lad, I'm a sitting duck. You wanna, this is kind of sad. Just like me. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to wait for them to kill me so I can have a dramatic end to the video, but it's not, it's not going very well. I've been sitting here for a minute and they're just not, they're not doing it. Fine, I'll do it myself. 